15 points behind and had a real chance of snatching a uh, remarkable victory. Kel, uh, Steve Kernan has been relied on all year to uh, to do well for Carlton. He's the only player that's played every game this year for the side. His performance yesterday, not uh, not quite up to standard for him, and did he have other players helping him out? Oh, no, I thought he was a good player for him. Beek, who spent the first half on the bench, put the Blues in front early in turn three. Then followed a... It's clear of Harvey. Well played by Hannah. Back towards the centre of Verbeek takes the mark. Plays on, out of the sand, getting the hand pass away to Shane Robertson. Long, in towards Kernahan at half forward, and he marks. From centre wing, looks very tired to Gleeson, a good attempt to mark. Play on, says the umpires, receive Verbeek, who played an excellent third quarter. Not sure what to do with it. He's gone onto the left foot, looking for Herman, and he's found... From 50 metres, brings it up in front of goal. Oh, it's a mark! Oh, I think it's McKenzie there. No, it's Verbeek. Simon Verbeek. Well, what a performance. He's kicked three. This will be his fourth uh, goal coming up if he can kick it. And didn't he soar like a bird on that occasion? They're terrific marks to see. And the big men fly. And Verbeek was on that occasion a former under-19 player from Richmond. Well, he and... Uh, the fullback will look very alike. Uh, McKenzie, here's Simon Verbeek, popping it through for another one of the Blues. His fourth goal. He kicked five earlier in one game. That was against Fitzroy Verbeek. Came from Oakley last year, who was coached by Brian Quirk, and a former Richmond under-19 player. And here it is, the big kick from Kernahan. Now watch Verbeek. He had the ride, the sit, and just better judgment. And it's not a bad ratio, 10 kicks four goals Bradley there he is again Verbeek Gee, has he played well since half time Don well, he has as a matter of fact four goals he's kicked Peter Ray who steers the pass to half forward and Verbeek marks I think too far out to score can that extinguish the demons flame the hand pass comes out from Verbeek Opportunity for Bradley, stabs at goal, and there's another one. Silvani looks for uh, Burbeek. Centering kick might have been touched off the boot, that one. No, he's been paid the mark, John Doritic. Elvin on his own. It's a... Oh, no, too late. Covered by the back. Well, again, another vital kick for Carlton. Verbeek's played well, wasn't he? Has been very productive, yes. So John Doritic, long side for a left footer. Great kick, tremendous kick for a goal to Hannah. Around Dippy Domenico, two on one in favour of Carlton. Great mark for Beek. Geez, played well this guy. I'll tell you what, it could be the coming of age of this man. And he also played very well in when Carlton weren't controlling the game early doors. He, he really worked very hard. See this on replay, it's a great mark. Both Platten and Jackie putting pressure on him. Ross, for a youngster, it's important to get your hands on the ball a lot. And uh, look at that, he's had 12 hand passes and 10 marks. Yes, he's done very well. Dixon on Schwab off the Hawthorne. Blues in front. First time today. Hannah towards centre wing, Verbeek, who's a fine player against Hawthorne last week. Takes the diving mark, wants to play on around Ryan. Kicks to centre wing. Carries the ball out towards the half-back flank and kicks towards centre wing. Over the top, Verbeek. Strong grab. Now 50 metres again, the fourth of the night. There's some five marks taken by Verbeek. A very good game last week and continuing on with that good form tonight. Likely customer. Goes long down inside the 50. He's off. Andrew Phillips has been very busy. And very accurate with his kicking. What's he done here? Hasn't got the depth of kick, but Verbeek off hands. Well, Verbeek has been a very good player. He got his first goal for the evening. He's kicked one goal, two. Thumped away by the Tiger defenders, straight onto the chest of Verbeek. And that's just about closed the door. It's going to be very tough for the Tigers. They haven't been able to kick many goals at the start of this final quarter lovely balk and turn into the goal square and Richmond defending desperately and Lee's nearly threw the ball at the umpire 
the umpire was about to take a phase of action. <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> Couldn't have given him 50 metres because he's right on the goal line now. And let's see what happened here. Now, any English test selectors watching this probably would like this. Oh, we're not going to see. Great action. So the beak with the free kick. And he's already kicked one goal. He's had 21 possessions and has taken eight marks. So the stats are pretty impressive, irrespective of whether he kicks this or not, and he has done. It's nicely picked up by Meldrum. He goes for distance from outside 50, marking the square for beak. He's only about three metres out directly in front. Well, that's exactly what uh, Alex says. I think I'll be looking for, Dennis. A bit more midfield creativity. It's a goal. He's forced to go wide to Herman. Herman will centre in towards half forward. Carlton needing oh. something desperately, and Satori may provide it. There's a fine mark. Verbeek. It's a great Sign mark. Verbeek. With this rain continuing Gee, to come flew down. well there. Read it very well. Strong pair of hands. So, Verbeek. Inside 50, Carlton desperately need a goal, and I think he's provided the answer. He has. Full distance and kicks towards Dennis. Up with the one hand, waiting down is Alvin and Phillips. Phillips, the left footer, flicks it high, and it's going to be effective for Carlton because the mark has been taken by Simon Verbeek, who's kicked a couple of goals, both of those in the second quarter. So they need one now as the understatement of the year. And Phillips, who I think, has given them some life. In fact, he's now going to be replaced again. He's going to come back off the ground and Madden back on. Surprising, isn't it? A little hard to understand. <laughs> so, yeah. Verbeek for number three. And he's asking Chris Lewis to get out of the way, and he's just got 50 metres. That'll bring him right into the square. Well, it's uh, not good play by Chris Lewis, who over this year has given away a few unnecessary free kicks like that, which um, does a lot of the good work that he has put forward for his side. Well, the beak should make no mistake of this one. There's number three.